Santa. Considering everything up till now, I should be able to make it clear. I have to prove that I didn't murder anyone, I'm not the killer! Oh shit, my dicks. Make your argument! This guy's dead body, exploded body analysis, fragments near the dead body. Shit! Oh shit. Um. Okay, what, what's it gonna be? Knife we found lodged. It's the same we gave to Makoto. Yeah, he gave it to me. Yeah, you, you, you just, I'm a big, I'm a big murder, murder raider. Channel murder raider. I hate you so much, hero. I hate you so far. I thought we were friends, my dog. I thought we were friends, dude. Getting stabbed is what killed her, so there's no quite. Well, no, there's no, there's no. Stab, stab. There's nothing really saying that. There's nothing really saying that it was the stab wound that killed her, right? There's nothing really saying that. I mean. No. No, 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 no. Because if, it, if the blood was there, then why would they go to the trouble of disguising it? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, no, so it would be the disguised dead body. Disguised dead body, and then we just gotta find one to go with it. Right? It'd be the, it'd be the stab wound, right? She died by being stabbed. Okay. Nope, no, it didn't. No, it didn't, fam. Nah, got you. Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. That should be clear from the description of the cover-up we just heard. No, but we did, though. You fucking idiot. No, don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp and then put the bloody coat on it, right? In other words, the victim never wore that bloodstained coat until after they were dead and the knife was in the fucking coat. Okay, fine, so what? So when we discovered the body... The knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Meaning, if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on and she was already dead at that point, obviously the stab wound isn't what killed her. Maybe you stabbed- no, because the Monokuma thing would say there's more than one stab wound, you fucking idiot. And there's no way it was possible, because we had the Monokuma file, right? The victim had been stabbed a single time. Gotcha, bitch! Gotcha, bitch! Monokuma file clearly states that there's only one stab wound. Yes, you forget about a lot of things. Maybe we should lay off the fucking grass, dude. And then the knife. The knife! It was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer, Kyoko Kirigiri. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. The explosion! <laughs> exploding the exploding the body after was probably meant to do the same thing. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. As all the killers attempt to destroy all evidence of the crime. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterwards. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death and destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Oh wait, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but... What's the deal with the explosion anyway? Why did the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? If you bothered to put that lump of grey matter between your ears to you, she'd know the answer. You're so smart, just tell me. No. No. Hero. Hero, no. No, baby girl, no, stop. Stop, you're being retarded again. Go ahead, Makoto, tell her, or we won't make any headway on this. It's it's the bam. It's the big it's the big old bam. Where's the bam? It's the it's these. Of the explosion we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Yeah, it'd be that big frigging bomb we found in Monokuma, you frigging tard. Oh god, like, seriously, like, Aoi, like, Aoi and Hiro, if they weren't here, these cases, these cases would be over like that. They just add time. That's the only reason they aren't dead, is that they add time to the cases, and they wanted to pad out the frigging runtime of this game. Like, I get the feeling, like, I know that's mean, and I do like this game. But, like, there's certain parts of it that just feel like, oh boy, no, we need to pad this out a little bit, fam. 
Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife to wound to look like a fatal injury, so we'd suspect Makoto. And the only one who'd benefit from that is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. Uh, hold on a second, Byakugan! What's the problem? Does my 360 vision lie? <laughs> Thousand palms, eight trigrams! I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. That's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine, I've got no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. We won't change the facts of the case regardless. Okay, it was it was the bonk on the head, right? It was the bonk on the head. Fucking make your argument. God damn it, fucking kill me, dog. Ah! And shall we continue the debate? Yeah, I mean, we might as well. Victim's fatal injury is yet to be determined. Explosion didn't kill her. She's already totally dead. Okay. So I feel, I, I hope this isn't like a, a, a name your own bullet. Because that would be like really, really shitty. Holy Christ. Oh. She hit it on the back of the head. Okay. And more than that, there's countless wounds across her entire body, which would, which makes me think that it's Junko, or, or the person we thought was Junko, because Junko got hit by the spears of gun gear, which killed her, right? Like, hang on, I think, I think I want to absorb one of these. Am I still, am, is this recording still working? Should still be working, right? Yeah, okay, alright, it's, it's still working, sorry, I just had to double check. So, I think... On the back of the head, we want to absorb that. Right? We want to avoid. We want to absorb that, and then use that on the second way around. Right? That would make sense to me. Like, right? Because I'm, I'm like, I'm not crazy, right? It's like, I'm not, I'm not crazy. Hang on, fucking. Let me actually make sure, because audacity. Okay, no, I'm still go. Sorry. So you guys can't see this, but audacity. For some reason, I'm going for, I've been going for like 2 hours 50 minutes, right? For some reason, Audacity just like, it kept scrolling. It kept, like, it, the, it kept recording, but the waveform stopped scrolling. I don't know what happened, like, maybe I scrolled the mouse wheel or something, but it's still recording, so that's, that's fine. That's fine, that's good. Um, where's my mouse? Where the fuck's my mouse? Okay, back on the head. Fatal injury. No! Fuck, I missed! Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, dog? Oh, I gotta. Because I missed, I gotta grab the bullet again! You see why I hate these freaking things? If I had, like, a rewind button and I could rewind to the previous ones. Like, this would be much better. Give me this. Alright, now, now just roll it. Roll it, okay. So, fatal injury, fatal injury. I feel like that's the one. Okay, fucking just aim between, just aim between. Fuck it. Don't even bother getting the blanks out. <sighs> Can we please have less of these freaking bullet battles? I'm tired of them. Because they're shit. Especially when I have to absorb bullets. Makuro died because of the blow to the back of her head she suffered. Like, what about the wounds all over the rest of her body, man? They didn't have anything to do with it. Monica file states clear those weren't fresh wounds. Oh yeah, good point, man. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. Okay, we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of the head is what killed her. But then, what was the murder weapon? Monica file says she was hit with a blunt object but as thick as a metal pipe. Oh, uh, I bet it was the pick... Why would it be the pickaxe, you idiot? It would destroy their skull. No, you're a faking idiot. You're an absolute tard, hero. You need to shut your... Can, is it just a mo mode in this game where I can just disable hero? I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours and throw it on the ground and spit on it. 
Can you guys stop insulting each other and just get back to the fucking... We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens that we already know. We already know? I knew we could count on you, master. Like, so what was it, man? Go ahead and tell them, Makono. Show me you've deduced the real murder weapon. What? Shit, are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. Sprinklers, knife, tarp, chicken coop. Fuck, I don't know. I don't actually know. Shit. It's a blunt object, right? About as thick as a pipe. Was it... The arrows? Mercurius hit in the back of the head with something, and that's what killed her. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. Like an arrow, man? That's what the Cobra attacked Makuro with? Indeed, there's no doubt about it. Like, are you sure? That sounds pretty weird. Hey, how dare you backtalk, master? You have no right. I'm not backtalking anything, I'm just saying what I think. I don't blame Hina for downing it, because there's one more thing about that weapon. One more secret. Oh, for f fuck's sake. Please, stop with these. Bloody duct tape, woodblock key, titanium arrows. God damn it. It's gonna be the duct tape, right? It's gonna be wrapped around it. The titanium arrow. It wasn't... It was in the dojo locker. I have no doubt that it was the murder weapon. Because in the Monokuma file, it must have been as thick as a metal pipe. Too thin. No, it's this. It's the tape. Got him. First try. I'm a master. You're right. Fuck. You're right. Just because one arrow would have been too weak. That's because the killer used another weapon. Another weapon? In the, in the dojo locker, we also found a bald up wad of duct tape. Yeah, they duct taped them all together, and then... The killer probably used this duct tape to bind multiple arrows together. Binding them together as duct tape would create a single weapon as thick as a pipe. And that's exactly what the killer did. It's similar to Asos' fable about the bundle of sticks. Okay, yeah, no, you're, you're really getting in there with the literary references, aren't you, you piece of shit? Where were you? Like, every other case. One stick is weak, but put them together and they become strong. It's meant to teach cooperation. Damn, that's harsh. What? How is that harsh? How? Hero, hero, are you on meth? Have you upgraded to meth? Anyway, that just explains the murder weapon. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, Kyoko. I've never been. No, you fucking have. No, bitch, you have. That's you were. You were the first one there. You were the first goddamn one there. No, shut up. Yes, we super do. Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. You know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover up for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. The death of us all, remember? Of course I remember. I have evidence. Evidence that Kyoko went to the dojo. Yes, I do. The f Why is this so hard for you, dude? We got the key. We have the key. The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here, the key to the dojo locker. And how does that prove anything? Because we found it in your room, dog. Explain that. Wait a minute. I forgot because I brought this up before, but it couldn't have been her because she wasn't allowed in her room. The only person that had a key, the key to her room was Byakuga. Hmm. Didn't really think that one all too well through, did you there, Byakuga Senpai? <laughs> Don't bother trying to play dumb. The key is just the final piece of the puzzle. Your non existent alibi, your clear motive, your attempts to frame Makoto for the crime. This all proves that you are the true culprit. I can't explain this away, so give up. Hold on a second. Just a minute. Not this again. You really are dead set on defending her, aren't you? Now, it's not like I want to defend her, it's just, there's one more thing I need to ask her. Kyoko, I want you to tell me something. 
Last night you were in my room, weren't you? Why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. What? So I was right, she just ran in and fucking drop kicked Ikasaba because Ikasaba was gonna stab me. Nani? She was protecting me? And what does that mean? Does that mean she. She killed Knifeman? I, she knew I was being attacked. And she came to my rescue. Could that be when. Which would mean that Kyoko. She killed someone for me. That's enough. Time for idle chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Wait. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not. I'm not the killer. This is not a quick mystery. I knew you were stubborn, but this is getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Can you tell me I'm wrong? I should know? What? Yeah. What? Byakuya has the room key. Byakuya got the room key. Oh boy. This bed is gonna, gonna be a fucking absorption, isn't it? It's gonna be an absorber. I'm gonna have to fucking absorb it. Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. They're getting really asshole with these things and just put them in front of the things. Byakuya, what are you hiding? No, she's super wood, dude. She she hire she hire, he hides everything from you. Okay, give me something. Give me something to grab. You stated a theory earlier. You said that I had evidence of my crime in the dojo locker. And then left the key in my own room. But could I really have done that? Oh, for fuck's sake. Um What would it do? I feel like I absorbed the right bullet. I feel like I absorbed the right bullet. But the key in my own room. Yeah, I, f I feel like this is... Not the killer. No, 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 I got it. I think, I think, I, if I just gotta, I just gotta make sure I actually see the damn thing. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. The proof, because she couldn't hide the key in her own room, because Byakuya had the friggin' key to her goddamn room. Yeah, see, nailed it. Nailed it. Can't, can't beat that. Can't beat that. Ah, huh? why not? Because she's given me, her, she's given her room key to Byakuya. I see. So that's what. She, yeah. So Byakuya, what the? Like you had the key in your fucking pocket, dude. Like, how, how, how did you think she was gonna put that fucking key there? Didn't I? Didn't I say that at the time? Didn't I say that at the time? And if I had the key to your room in my pocket. And I use it to go into the room to fucking find the thing. Oh boy! Then obviously I had no way of getting in. Without my room key, I couldn't possibly put the locker key in there myself. Am I wrong? Byakugan? Seriously, dude. Like, fucking Byakuya's... Byakuya talks all that good shit about being like the world's greatest detective and all that. It's like, oh yes, my dick is so big, I will solve all the mysteries. But like, every single case, he's made a giant mistake, like, of this caliber that just, like, like, dude, come on now, you're fucking it up. It's basic problem solved. Then you're finally starting to understand. No, that's not actually true. There was a clear contradiction what Kyoko just told us, an obvious... What was that lie, dog? But this... This just isn't like her. To try and save herself with such a desperate... But, no, Byakuya had the key, I'm confused. I will admit, like, it's been, it's been like a couple, like, like, like that little mystery, mystery cut you saw there. It's been like a couple hours, like, like I went to bed, I, I took a nap. Uh, but I, but I, I think I remember what happened. It hasn't been that long. 
Does she really feel that threatened? Because she's the... <laughs> I'm the killer! <laughs> what, a, what an amazing quick mystery. Was it something else? Was there some deeper meaning hidden in what Koko said earlier? If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of the school will stay hidden forever. This is why I can't let that happen. That's an amazing thing to say to get yourself killed. This is a trap the Mastermind has laid for us. Mastermind's trap. The Mastermind is trying to trap. Is trying to trap Coco. Coco butter. What if that's not really true? What can I do? What should I do? What should I? The Mastermind's. The Mastermind's trap. My God, is Chihiro still here? The victim was Mukuro, and Kyoko killed her. What, is, what does Kyoko... What do you really know? Do you know who I am? I'm... 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 I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna expose it. Probably gonna get me a game over, but I gotta save, so fuck it. Nah. I'm gonna call her out on it. Wait, I can run away. I'm out, bitches! Latest! No, running away isn't good. <laughs> Why put it there, then, you fucking stupid game? Uh... Fuck it. Pursue, pursue it. Do not pursue Lu Bu, except for this case. There's a lie hidden within Kyoko's statement just now. A lie? Oh, God! Isn't that right, Kyoko-chan? You said it. The burden of proof is on you. So let's hear it. Where's this lie, then? Kyoko is definitely lying. It must be because there's some deeper truth she wants to keep hidden. Okay, so that was the right answer. Okay. Probably gonna get a game over now. Probably gonna get a fucking game over. I didn't have the key to my room. Because I'd given it to Byakuya. There's no doubt about that. You're correct. So you couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. How else could the key gotten there? Someone other than me must have put it there. It's the only explanation. Wait, how? Then wait. Then how? Wait. I'm confused. I'm I'm fucking confused now. I I, I... hang on Monokuma's apparently killing game game six game of sixteen students Monokuma field the reason Kyoko wears gloves besides I'm thinking she doesn't want anyone to see Biaki has a count Biaki said there was no course in the garden after night last night so soon the murder things and besides that said that he were in the gym the whole night but none of them were alone at any point. And what's the, what's the other one? Kyoko's account. What's Kyoko's account, sorry. Which grants access to any room in the- Oh, because she has the fucking key! No, I guess, I guess fuck you, girl. I guess, I guess fuck you. Yeah, you didn't even need. You didn't even need. But also, this is gonna fucking just blow her ass up. This is gonna blow her ass up in front of Monokuma. Oh boy. Look at me. Look at me go. Okay, so it's going to be... Okay, it's gonna be the other one. You've got the master key, you fucking idiot. That's what- eh, I forgot about that. I completely forgot that the master key lets you get into any room. I thought it was just the dorms on the second floor. No, Kyoko could have gotten into her room. You said you so yourself, didn't you, Kyoko? As you precise, not quite. I used Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in school. Masaka! Bakana! Monokuma's secret tool? Kyoko stole it from the headmaster's room and lets you get into any room at the school. Which means she could have used it to get into her own room. Then I guess that's it. You're giving up just like that? You admit to killing? No, I'm simply recognizing that I lost. 
What are you talking about? Like I said, this was a trap, and I wasn't able to escape it. So I lost. That's all this means. Yeah, fuck you, Kyoko-chan. Fuck you, suck giant f dildo. Fuck you. I hate you so much. Then you're saying, you really didn't? Kyoko, you re- Oh no, I fucked up. I got an innocent person killed. Oh no. Okay, time's up. Huh? Sorry to say, but your time is up. All done, all finished. The class trial is all over. But, but that's ridiculous. Since when is there any... It's because you were late. So the trial started late and time ran out. Then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone pull the lever. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. But I guess we already know who the blackened is, don't we? <laughs> oh, boy. Rip. Rip. Guilty. I imagine this is like a bad ending. It's gonna give me a game over. Oh, good job. You got it right. Brilliantly right. We got it, right? Does that mean Kyoko really... I'm, I'm the killer. Does that mean we really solved the quick mystery? There's something wrong with this whole class trial. Kyoko! I prepared an extra special punishment this time. Is everyone ready? Okay. Let's give it everything we got. It's punishment time! Oh boy, it's gonna be fucking good, isn't it? Hit the button! What we got, dog? Game over! Kyoko is fucking dead. I, I get the feeling that I, I feel like I know that I should have picked the let the lie go. I just kind of wanted to see what would happen. Did not expect this. Going to be honest. Did not expect it. I expected it to be like one of those things where it just turns around and is like, Hey, fucker, you've hit the wrong button. Kill yourself. Because you basically did. What is he, what is he teaching her on that fucking board? That's... That's rough. It's fucking rough, dog. After school lesson. Okay, was he, was he teaching her? Was he teaching her? Oh, yeah, she's having a bad day. She's like, oh, shit, I didn't study. Oh, shit. He's teaching her about sex ed. Are you fu- What? Are you fucking- Oh, my halud, Monokuma. Oh god, I'm blushing so hard. It's totally not because I'm gonna fucking die oh, now. She has stopped breathing. She has stopped breathing. She is turning blue. God, it's gotta be fucking rough. Just like, just, you hear it going behind you. And the fucking watermelon noise, too. I hope that came through. Like, <laughs> and that's how the class trial of Makuro Ikasaba came to an end. I still have to wonder whether Kyoko was actually innocent, or regardless, the truth was lost forever. Even for me, I just stopped thinking about it. As he floated through Hope's Peak Academy, eventually, Makoto Nagi just stopped thinking, and just turned to stone. Just, just in, sp in place, just in the fucking hallway, just turned to stone like cars, like mid-step. That was the end of Makuro's class trial. And in the end, it proved to be our last class. Oh, fuck. Final episode of Danganronps. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Once that case was over, there was never a single murder at Hope's Peak ever again. We had obtained peace in exchange for the lives of all the others. Wow. Fucking Toko dies. Okay, so fucking... Aoi basically becomes the one that everyone fucks. She's the only one left with a working uterus. So they just pump her full of children. I guess. And Toko just dies. Like... Toko just fucking... What the fuck happens to Toko? Like, I thought they said no, no murders happens. She just slit her own fucking wrists. Oh, Jesus. 
fucking Byakuga's kid in the corner, like, Mom? Dads? Plural? Peace, but only inside the school. Peace, but only for us. That was the only hope we had. That's kind of fucked, though, isn't it? Only girl left in, like, a, a school with, like, fucking th three other dudes. God. Hope. Hope. Hope? This is hope? Um, excuse me, I ordered the hope, thank you. <laughs>